In this tutorial, we go over the wave modifier to create this interesting space cube animation. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. All right, the first thing you wanna do is select this default cube, go to the modifier properties, add a modifier, and we're gonna use the array modifier. We're gonna increase the factor X over here in the relative offset to 1.1, and we're gonna increase the number to six. Once you've done that, you can go to this downward arrow here, click duplicate, and then minimize this, we're done with that, and click over here, copy this, backspace zero, enter, and then paste it over here, control V, and we've got 1.1 over here. Next thing you wanna do is minimize this, and then you wanna add a subdivision surface modifier. Keep it on simple. It has to be on three or higher. The higher, the better the, it will look. Once you've done that, the next thing you wanna do is add a modifier, and we're gonna use the wave modifier. We're gonna right click shade smooth so it looks a lot better. And with the wave modifier, we can choose a starting position. We're gonna press shift A, and we're gonna use an empty, and we're gonna use a plane axis. I'm gonna press S5 so we can see it. And numpad seven. And I'm just going to bring this up, GX uh, 5.5, GY 5.5. There we go, it's dead in the middle. And I'm going to select this over here and click the empty as the offset. And there we go. So now when we move the empty, we can press G and just move this around wherever we like, but I like it to be in the dead center. And we press play, we get this. Next thing you want to do is go to your wave modifier and you can adjust the height. Let's reduce the height to 0.3. You can see it's much lower. And let's increase the width uh, to 2.5. And it isn't as frequent. Let's also uh, go to our time and we can actually go for a slow-mo effect like 0.1. And in this tutorial, we're not gonna go for a slow-mo effect. That's just to show you that you can. And then we can go to our materials. And with these over here, we wanna press tab, go into edit mode, and we select this one by itself. And we're gonna have some fun here. We're gonna press control R, loop cut. We're gonna create two cuts, well, one cut, click. Bring it to the edge here. Control R, create another cut, bring it to the edge here. And then we're going to press 3 to choose face select. And we're going to press Alt and click over here. Shift, holding Shift and Alt at the same time and click over here as well. And go to our material settings. We're going to add a new material. We click New. But before we do, let's add the first material. Actually, press Tab, go into Object Mode. I forgot to add the first material. We're going to make the first material a glossy BSDF. We can go to our render viewport to see how it looks or just our material viewport for the time being. I prefer working in my render viewport. And we're gonna make this 0 0.1. And in our render settings, it would make sense to turn on screen space reflection, bloom, and ambient occlusion. And we can play with the settings later. Next thing we wanna do is press tab, go into edit mode. And with those selected, we can go to material settings and we can add a new material over here. And we're gonna change this to emission change this to an interesting color maybe let's try it pink and click assign and give it a strength of five press numpad seven to be in top orthographic view press ctrl r create two loop cuts there click ctrl r create two loop cuts here click or three loop cuts and then i want you to press three and select these two blocks over here and click on edge. Pardon me, not edge, you wanna click right click, loop tools and we're gonna click circle. If you don't have loop tools, you can go to edit, preferences, add-ons, just type in loop. Make sure you spell loop correctly, it does help. Then just make sure that's enabled. All right, now that we've got this shape and I've got this selected, I'm gonna create a new material, new, and I'm gonna make this an emission as well. And I'm gonna choose a different color. And need to make this a little bit darker. There we go. And give it a strength of five and click assign. And let's just confirm to see, yeah, they're both on five. Okay, cool. 
All right, now that we've got that, one thing you'll notice off the bat is indirect light isn't really working properly, but we're not gonna worry about that in this tutorial. Let's press tab, go into object mode. And the other thing we wanna do is just make sure our bloom is set up correctly. Let's pause this quickly. Bloom is turned on. So what happens when we increase the strength to, let's say 30. And let's do the same for the other one. 30. And there you go. We've, we are done. Press numpad seven to be in top orthographic view. We can just change our bloom effect to something a little bit less to maybe the radius of three. And I'm happy with that. And then just choose, press Control Alt Numpad Zero to just select your camera. Select your camera, press G, put it in place. And we are sorted. All you have to do now is render this out. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.